My name is Mike Lawless. I'm a professor here in the business school. I teach entrepreneurship and strategy, and I'm the founder of the V2 Pitch Competition. So I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of how it's grown. This is the third time that we're uh, actually running it, and we have doubled the number of entrants and the size of the prize money uh, since we started each time. And uh, we're now up to $50,000 in prize money, uh, but I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Uh, so the, the key parts about this, I'm going to whiteboard this for you because I'm most comfortable with this. I don't, I gave up on PowerPoint. Um, so I'm going to uh, just whiteboard to tell you what the key elements are in the pitch are and then work back from that to the timeline. So what do you have to do if you're interested in the V2 pitch competition? It is a pitch uh, in front of a set of investors. So your deliverable is going to be a pitch, we call that a pitch deck. And this is 10 PowerPoint or Prezi files. And uh, you know at the bottom of every PowerPoint uh, slide, there's a place for annotation, like what your speaking notes are going to be. Uh, so these will be annotated. This is the first part, and this is what gets evaluated by a panel that I'll tell you about in a minute. Then this leads you to your pitch on V2 night, which is likely going to be six minutes of platform time. That's your part of this. Our part of this is to set this up so that you have a great opportunity to get your ideas in front of real investors and have an opportunity for them to see and evaluate and give you feedback. So this is both an educational and a competitive funding uh, event. Uh, so let me give you a timeline that'll help you kind of think about uh, how you can get ready for this. Um, the V2 night itself is Thursday, April 3rd. This is when we'll actually have the pitches, and I'll explain that to you in a minute. The week before that, the 27th of March, will be the decisions on who the finalists are. The week before that, on the 20th of March, are, is the due date for the pitch decks. Is that showing up in the back? OK, great. So that's our timeline. So you have until the 20th of March to get that, what's on the left-hand board, ready and submit it to us. And we'll, uh, you'll do that through our website. So with that timeline, I'd like to tell you about the uh, evening itself, how it's going to play out, uh, and then tell you about how these things are getting judged along the way. So with this submission, how is that judged? We went from, in 2013, our last time that we ran V2, Student Entrepreneurship Pitch Competition, we had 40 entrants. And at the time, we got that down to four finalists, so four entrepreneurs pitched on V2 night. We've added a new track to V2 that I'll tell you about in a few minutes, and that has led us to reduce the number. So I think we're going to have three finalists for 2014 V2. How do we go from here? This filtering process this year is going to be done by an outside panel of investors and entrepreneurs from Startup San Diego, from Tech Coast Angels, from Angel Ventures Mexico, a number of people who, have, who are actually out there either running businesses or investing in businesses are going to step up, volunteer, and help us from however many entrants we get. We hope it's more than 40, down to three finalists this year. 
Okay, so this is uh, entrepreneurs and investors. So your, they will look at your 10-slide annotated pitch deck and evaluate them as if they were deciding which ones ought to go to a pitch night. Now, V2 itself, V2 night itself, I'll walk you through that real quick. V2 night itself starts with a keynote presentation by an angel investor and successful entrepreneur named Andy Lotz. Uh, you may be familiar with Nixon watches. Anybody familiar with Nixon? Okay, he's one of the founders of Nixon Watches. So he's gonna be our opening. Uh, this will be at uh, uh, 6.30. At uh, seven, let me make sure I get this right. Uh, at seven, we'll start the pitches. At around eight, uh, there'll be some conferring in here by the angel investors. We'll go to kind of a hallmark of our competition. And these are one-on-one -on -one meetings between the entrepreneurs, the finalists, and the investors. So, so we'll be in the IPJ. We'll actually break out the investors, spatially separate them. And each of the finalists will get a 10-minute meeting with each of the investors. Kind of like, we like your pitch. Um, well, let's have a follow-up meeting. So these are 10 minutes. And these are really valuable for the finalists and for the audience because people can sit and watch these meetings. At around 9, uh, the investors will confer. Um, around 9.30, uh, we'll announce how they spend the 50000 and debrief. So typically what they'll do is say, uh, uh, Entrepreneur 1, here's the amount that you get, and here's why uh, we decided that amount from the 50000 Okay? Or all of it. Or all of it, yeah. So um, I wish I had a darker marker, darn it. Um, but we'll, do, we'll make do. Uh, OK, so let me tell you about the structure. So this is all timeline that I've given you so far. The structure is actually really exciting and I think is going to be fun for everyone who enters. Is there a blue one, maybe? Yeah, that's right. OK, so the V2 structure has a number of unique features that are based on experience and research in the field. So the first thing is that the $50,000 is awarded at the discretion of the angels. So one thing that, that you ought to keep in mind is this is not a tournament. It's not a first, second, third with preset prize amounts. The angel investors decide to give it all to one, in, one and say the other two you're not ready yet, or to dis divide it as they think the uh, ventures are worth funding. Second, and actually, actually, it's maybe even first, is that these are angel investors. These aren't judges. They're not Qualcomm executives or professors. These are people actually making these investment decisions in their daily lives. Uh, so they're going to be using criteria that they would use to decide whether to invest in a new venture. Uh, I mentioned the one-on-one -on -one meetings. That's an important part of this, and it's a great way to get feedback for the, uh, the finalists. And one other thing uh, that I think is really important, actually, I'll tell you another one that's a big surprise and, a, and, a, and an innovation this time. Uh, another hallmark of our competition is the poster session. So even if you're not a finalist, 
doesn't mean your venture isn't worth uh, getting some exposure. So before the competition starts, uh, from like 5.30 to 6.30 in the afternoon, we actually have a poster session in the courtyard of the IPJ where non-finalists get to set up a poster or a loop on their laptop or a demo, a prototype, or something like that. And in a kind of fair at atmosphere, the audience, which includes other angel investors, other entrepreneurs, just visit each of the places where the uh, non-finalists who have chosen to present their ventures get to set up. And we're really proud of that. Uh, last time, we, we, like I said, we had 40 entrants, four finalists. Of the 36 non-finalists, 18 chose to present their ventures in this poster session. And they got a lot of great feedback on the way. So that's the structure. Let me show you uh, what one of the pitches look like. And this is actually one of our most successful USD V2 entrepreneurs so far. Uh, some of you may have heard of the business on my block. Uh, it is from, it was from two of our students, one from the business school, uh, Morgan, one from the engineering school, Jordan. Uh, they have gone on to get a place at Evo Nexus downtown. They've got funding from uh, uh, San Diego Venture community, and they've, got, they've all together won a couple of different competitions and now finished a first round of funding. They've gone from V2, thanks. They've gone from V2 to $800,000 in funding so far. So uh, by far one of our most successful ventures. There actually is an art to pitching and to getting all the information in a compelling way out in front of investors in that six or seven minute period. Uh, and we're actually gonna help you to get there. There is, uh, a, there is a coaching service available uh, that I'll tell you about in just a second. And we also have what are called idea labs. In addition to competing for this $50,000, there's lots of opportunities for exposure in front of investors. So we expect there to be investors from uh, Startup San Diego, from Tech Coast Angels, from Angel Ventures Mexico, in addition to the, to the evaluating panel uh, in the audience. So that'll be a great exposure for you if you enter and you end up in the poster session as a non-finalist. In general, well, so, so this, this is a extremely realistic, real world, uh, experiential, educational experience, but it's educational. So it's a combination of real um, criteria that they would use in a real situation, like at a pitch night at Tech Coast Angels. On the other hand, they also recognize that these are student pitches. So they're, it's kind of up to them to judge. But in general, I would say the closer you are to a viable product, if you've got proof of concept in some way, stronger. But there's no cutoff that says you have to have revenues or you have to have a prototype. But obviously, the closer you are to market and a viable venture, the more fundable you are. It's only a pitch deck. Now, we expect that people would do some sort of business plan to support the foundation for the pitch deck, but that's up to you as the entrepreneur. Your presentation to us, to the V2 competition, is the pitch deck that I've described and the pitch itself for finalists, or your presentation at a poster session for non-finalists.